and see you there. My name is Dawson. <laughs> I forgot. Hi, I did not see you there. My name is Dawson, and you're watching Martin Student News. Today we're inquiring about Martin's National Society of Fine Arts. It's a club for all those aspiring artists out there. It is a wonderful resume builder as it is a national honor society. We have many sophisticated and enjoyable events coming up. If you find yourself fit for the National Honor Society of Art, admire the modern beauty of the QR code on screen and contact Miss Saxon for extra information. Are you a sophomore or junior interested in attending TCC dual credit courses next year? If so, click the link on screen, fill out the form, and attend one of these three virtual info sessions in order to learn more about the program. Hey seniors, with the end of the semester coming so close, it's time to start thinking about those college scholarships. With Texas PTA scholarships, you can win $1,000 for college after graduation. And even faculty members have the chance to win up to $500 for continuing education, or training. The deadline for this is November 15th, so check out the website txpta.org slash scholarships for more details. Hey Martin Warriors! Key Club is hosting a Zoom trivia night benefiting UNICEF this Friday! The sign up code is on the page next to me. I hope to see you there! Would you like to make movies or edit films like these people here? Well, the Martin Filmmakers Society has its first official meeting on Tuesday, November 10th from 4 to 5 p.m. If you're interested, text this code to 81010 for more information and to learn about the fun Get to Know You activity. What's up, Warriors? You know what time it is. That's right. It's time for Reviews by Shelps. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Knives Out. Written and directed by Ryan Johnson, who also directed Star Wars The Last Jedi, Knives Out is a whodunit film starring Daniel Craig as Detective Blanc, who is trying to solve the murder case of Harlan Thrombey, a wealthy author played by Christopher Plummer. Everyone in Harlan's family is a suspect. Blanc listens to each family member's testimony, which turns out to be a web of lies. So, with the help from Harlan's nurse, Marta, who is played by Anna de Armas, Blanc discovers clues leading to the real suspect and the truth about the Thrombies. And let me tell you, when you watch this, you will not see the ending coming. This movie is suspenseful and really fun to watch. The cleverness Blanc shows throughout the movie will keep you on the edge of your seat as he gets closer and closer to the answer. The suspense is balanced out with the comedy that each character brings to the table. And the music is intense and captures the mood of each scene. And honestly, the music is really addictive. It's it's great soundtrack. With an all-star cast including Jimmy Lee Curtis, Chris Evans, and Lakeith Stanfield, also with incredible storytelling, Knives Out is one of the best mystery films I've ever seen. Therefore, it gets five stars. Want me to watch and review your favorite movies? Scan this QR code to fill out the Google form. This has been Reviews by Shelves, and thanks for watching. Hey guys, make sure to stick around after the news to see some of David's best game recommendations for you this quarantine. Because remember, there's still a virus, we're still quarantine, don't go out partying, bad idea. Games, video games that David has recommendations for. Thanks for watching. Hey, hey guys, you, like, you guys like video games? To help us get through this year, video games have been the perfect pastime, mostly due to the fact that everyone's been stuck at their house all year. So I've decided to recommend a few video games to help us get through the rest of this year. Um, now a few of these games are available on PC, and due to legal reasons, I cannot recommend emulation. Emulation is not, not a good not thing, a good thing. Don't, don't emulate games, games. I've, I've never, never emulated games. With that being said, let's start with this first one. Among Us. Now if you got the friends, Among Us is a great game. It's entirely built around pretending to know what you're doing and convincing others to believe that you know what you're doing. In the end, no one really knows what they're doing. Overall, it's a pretty good experience and depending on your situation, it can help sustain everlasting friendships. But maybe you don't got friends. 
Oh, sucks for you. Animal Crossing New Horizons is the perfect game to sit down, relax, and enjoy at your leisure. It's rewarding in a way many other games aren't, and it helps take your mind off things that worry you. It's got a lot of charm, and it's just pure relaxation. But of course, relaxation gets boring after a while, and sometimes you need something a little more swiggity swing. Might I recommend a game made by my literal dad, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Aside from the fact that everyone and their dog is in this game, including the dog from the other game, Smash Bros. is just an all-around great game. Tons to collect, tons to do, online. And I don't care what the tier lists say, Wii Fit's like the best character. But maybe you don't like Smash Bros. Makes sense. Smash hasn't been doing that good this year. And maybe you want a more traditional fighting game. <laughs> Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. I know recommending a Street Fighter game can sound like recommending bread slices since you just gotta trust me, this slice of bread is way better than this slice of bread. But like, Third Strike's the coolest. Ever heard of Moment 37? Yeah, I know it's overdone and everybody talks about it all the time, but that's because it's so cool. I will say, getting into fighting games can be really hard. Sometimes too hard. But once you find your way in, these games are really neat. So those are- Ouch, that hurt. So those are some games you can play to pass the time this year. I forgot Mario Pacross. Alright, bye.